Putin has been charged with war crimes, and Russia came back swinging with their responses. Now, my disclaimer, this is me going over responses. I 100% understand there are families who lost children and they are somewhere in Russia right now. But I think it's important to realize that Russia doesn't care and here's why. First things first, I'm actually a little surprised in the lack of education that people have in regards to the International Criminals Court. Russia does not fall under the ICC court, so they have no jurisdiction between the two. But there's one other country that's going to shock everyone who also doesn't fall under the ICC. The United States also does not fall under the ICC, but the biggest difference is the United States actually supports the ICC quite a lot. I promise we will get to those Russian statements, but this will all make sense, and I think a lot of you are learning something. There's something out there called the Rome Statute. To make this very simple, it's a special treaty where every country can come together and have some sort of standard that everyone can follow for war crimes, and if somebody does something bad, the ICC can then in turn charge them with war crimes. So, since Russia did not sign the Rome Statute, do not be surprised by the responses you are about to hear. First response from Dmitry Peskov. He's the top dog. He's Putin's right-hand man. He's the Kremlin spokesman. Dmitry says, This decision is outrageous and unacceptable, but noted that Russia, like many other countries, did not recognize the jurisdiction of the ICC. And accordingly, any decisions of this kind are null and void for the Russian Federation from the point of view of law. Dmitry was also asked, well, is Putin afraid to travel the countries who follow the ICC? Like, you can get detained in that country. And Dmitry said, I have nothing to add on this subject. That's all we want to say. Now, that response was actually pretty tamed compared to this next response. This response you're about to hear shook up Twitter quite a bit. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev had this to say, The International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant against Vladimir Putin. No need to explain where this paper should be used. Toilet paper emoji. It doesn't get any more clear than that on where Russia stands. This is a former Russian president using a toilet paper emoji on Twitter and telling everyone to wipe their you-know-what with that arrest warrant. Now, stick with me, I'm going to do one more response, and I'm going to explain why I think a lot of people were a little misguided here. Okay, Russian Parliament Speaker Volodin, because I don't know how to say his first name, here's what he had to say. Yankees, hands off Putin, the close Putin ally said on Telegram, calling the move evidence on Western hysteria. We regard any attacks on the president of the Russian Federation as aggression against our country. So, I hope you are starting to realize that Russia literally does not care. And they're starting to use these attacks as acts of aggression to their people. And Russia really does use this strategy quite a lot in their media and in their geopolitical policies. Look, acts of aggression. We need to act now. We need to do this. We need to do that. So here's where I think a lot of people were a little confused and why the ICC didn't make this quite clear. I wish the ICC had mentioned that Russia doesn't necessarily fall under the ICC. And I think this actually misled a lot of people and gave a lot of false hope to people. Again, at the end of the day, this was way more symbolic than practical. But on the flip side, there were many people who were quite excited about this. Let me actually go over what Zelensky had to say about all of this. Zelensky says this, This is an historic decision which will lead to historic accountability. The head of the terrorist state and another official have officially become suspects in a war crimes case. In criminal cases that are being investigated by our law enforcement, there are more than 16,000 instances of forcible deportation of Ukrainian children by occupiers. But the real complete number of deported could be much larger. It would have been impossible to enact such a criminal operation without the say-so of the man at the helm of the terrorist state. So Zelensky fully is calling Putin a terrorist here. And here's the final statement. To part children from their families, to prevent them from contacting their relatives, to hide children on the territory of Russia, to disseminate them around far-flung regions is clearly state policy of Russia, state decisions, and state evil, which starts precisely with the top official of this state. So, from the Ukrainian perspective, they are happy. Not happy what's going on, but happy now there is more light to the situation here. 
Because I'm willing to bet a lot of you had no idea that this would even be considered a war crime or that this was happening. Because again, a lot of us are just watching Instagram and YouTube combat footage and like, war crimes here, war crimes there. But this has been going on behind the scenes. Now, the biggest question is, what happens if like Russia all of a sudden loses this war and now Putin, they can go get him for a war trial? Well, first off, we would still have to go get Putin. And second off, this is why I keep saying this is symbolic. This almost means nothing to Putin. The only way I see Putin going to an actual war crimes trial or he gets dragged in there is if his own people turn on him, if there is a coup. But this is going to be hard to believe and for a lot of us to understand. The majority of people in Russia support Putin, a majority, which means they like him a lot. The Russian people are the nicest people ever, but they're also strong. They're hard. You, you put sanctions on them, you take away oil, you take away food and money, it's okay. They survive together as a unit. And I promise, I am not sticking up for Russia here. I'm just trying to put things in perspective so we are not being misled. Putin knows he has a tough culture to deal with. You see, in the United States, if all of a sudden inflation hits, everyone goes crazy. Go to the grocery store. We're not going to make it. So do not forget that. In Mother Russia, they fight together. They die together. They're a very strong nation. But nonetheless, I do not support Putin and what he did. I'm very glad that finally this is all coming to light. Finally, we know that there are children being deported deported from Ukraine into Russia, and I truly think there is enough evidence to provide to the table that this is happening. So that's the video. Leave your comments down below. Are you really even that surprised how Russia reacted? I'm not, because I knew they never signed the Rome Statute. Anyway, leave your comments, opinions, and I'll see you later.